Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, everybody. I was on the wrong call. <laughs> Not a crisis. Apparently, we snuck in a uh, cert meeting before this that I didn't go to anyway. That's OK. That this is the best work group call. Either. It is. I agree. I put a link to the agenda in the chat for those of you that didn't already discover it. I was going to say the best working group was missing its best uh, working group lead. Uh, <laughs> I'm just here to help remove blockers and enable all this amazing. And herd and cats. And herd cats. There you go. And, and you do, and we appreciate it. All right. Uh, if you have any opens, please add them to the agenda. Do we have any new friends today that wanted to say hello? All right. So we're going to do some uh, sub-project updates, give an update on the education SIG. And then if anyone else had any other topics, they are welcome to add those to opens. So Mr. Wheeler, would you like to talk about some stories? I would indeed. So um, <clears throat> as is, a, I think, a good idea, um, we encourage uh, people to comment on our course. And, you know, hey, you know, what went well, what didn't well do, didn't go well, and so on. Um, lots of people have had some really positive feedback about the fundamentals course, which is all good. Um, however, we had a number of folks say, hey, those, you know, those little story time sections that were kind of interspersed throughout were really helpful. They really appreciated those, which were 
a very, very small portion of the overall course, but it's basically little vignettes. Uh, you know, real world, why is it important to do this? Um, I have posted the current list of story times in the notes. Uh, some of them are, I, I, we just added several, so that includes the ones we've added. So this is a beg, plead, whatever you want for suggestions, ideas for other key stories. What we're looking for is real world examples, preferably ones that made the news easy to explain. And we're particularly looking for ones that cover a vulnerability not already covered by some story. Uh, so for example, you know, SQL injection is really common, but we didn't have a story systems where you have a uh, what is it a uh, eight figure uh, at least dollar figure uh, penalty uh, for uh, not dealing with it so um, you know looking I mean look, looking for stories looking for ideas uh, any quick thoughts or otherwise I'm just gonna beg you to you know put in the issues and and go from here did you have a list of specific areas you you have a gap right now I don't. Um, I mean, there's there aren't that many stories so right now. So um, it's probably eventually it will be helpful to have that. But right now, probably easier just to propose a story. It's more than likely something that's not already covered. <laughs> so you know, <clears throat> so we already have type of squatting covered. We already have SQL injection. So you can see the list. Um, if if it's not obviously more or less exactly the same kind of problem just propose it we, we can talk about it eventually i want to get to the point where almost everything's covered and uh it would be helpful to have that point but uh, i don't know if we're ready for that yet <laughs> yeah. target rich environment for sure um questions or comments for david on this I didn't have my camera. Uh, day job crobe will have to be very careful about examples that he cites uh, because uh, several of the uh, issues here are close uh, customers or business partners. So corporate crobe has to be very careful. Uh, open source crow will do his best to find uh, some good examples, but I, I, I will not be highlighting any uh, business partners' follies. <laughs> but other okay, people well, are welcome to. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I will note that it has to be public. So I'm, I'm, we're only going to be citing public sources. So, uh, and, and you know what? Some, a some of them, you know, mobile if... manufacturer with a fruit shaped logo. <laughs> that, well, what fact... level of obscurity is acceptable? Well, you know, I already have Apple go to fail, go to fail as one of these story time examples. Um, but if you've got others, that's good. You, you know, I, I think that's it's what actually... academics are for. They're here to, you know, shield the corporate types from <laughs> <laughs> from all liabilities and wrongs. Um, and I'm nothing if not corporate. <laughs> uh, it, 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 and all that's like, for example, um, the Heartland payment system. Um, I mean, that was incredibly painful money-wise. Um, I mean, it stopped their business for weeks. Um, but I don't actually, I, I think there's actually a positive side. Yes, they made a terrible, they made some bad decisions, some, some mistakes. It really hurt them. Uh, but they didn't, that's not where the story ends. They did turn around and they did make a lot of really substantive changes. So, you know, I don't think we, I don't think we need to back off, especially if the story is a couple of years old, because then we can tell the the longer, you know, looking back what happened, what changed. Right. So we'll, we'll try to find some great public examples of programmatic or process errors that we can highlight. Yeah. I think some of us will just be more careful than others. I think we could take all of these and approach NBC and make a really compelling Dateline episode out of it. <laughs> Especially would be great if we could get um, the actor from Barry uh, from SNL to put oh. on that gray haired wig and do his <laughs> impersonation of the older Dateline uh, reporter who has that unique phrasing that really makes it compelling. 
<laughs> Excellent. And then um, you talked with your second bullet point, David, about some videos. Yeah. Um, basically, one of the comments feedback was, hey, you know, it's uh, just it's a lot of text and images. They wanted to uh, break it up. Now, um, I think some of you have already heard, but for those of you who haven't, um, this was Malice of Forethought. Uh, when I first originally proposed this, uh, I originally thought of doing all video. And um, the training folks basically said, you know, we can do that. Don't. Uh, because it's incredibly hard to update videos. Uh, and this is the fun, and, and I, I, you know what? After looking at it, I actually see the wisdom of it. This is the problem that SafeCode has. SafeCode has some really awesome material that's not aging well. It's too hard to do a group modification. It's too hard to do an update. Uh, but I do understand the desire to just, you know, uh, mix it up so it's not just um, or sit, read a book. Um, so my current plan is to slip in little video intros throughout the course. You know, here's what you're going to learn with things you know, and, and, you know, broad topics that won't change over time. I don't expect. And that way we have that variety experienced by the learners without the inability to update, which is a problem that other folks have had. Uh, if somebody has a better idea, I'm all for it. Uh, but it seems it, it seems like the way to to, to win through this <laughs> the end goal there. Um, I, I more to come once I figure out what that is. Comments? Uh, I'm glad to help participate. Um, the education sig might be uh, funding a podcast, or we might have some graphics and whatnot that we might be able to yield leverage for this to record some short little videos. So I, I'm all okay. for it. Glad to help. I'll get my green screen out. Uh, was audio considered? I mean, <clears throat> it's possible to have someone read. Of course, we've all, for accessibility, we make sure that it's possible to use a uh, screen reader. So uh, from that perspective, we've already got that kind of audio covered. Okay. Any additional questions or comments for David on the video idea? All right. I think the two excellent ideas, David, looking forward to uh, contributing. Do we have any other of our uh, sub projects that are interested in providing an update today? SKF inventory scorecard. So, so I'm, I'm not I'm not sure what we want to share with the group yet, but um, Glenn's on his way, so um, he'll be joining shortly, and maybe he has a better organization of what he wants to share of SKF. Okie doke. Well, we'll eagerly wait Glenn's arrival. Let's talk about the education sig. Um, Mr. Rousseau, would you like to give your section one update, please? Sure. So, uh, as everyone knows, uh, we are still asking people to put information into the spreadsheet for any uh, appropriate training, trying to find as many sources as we can so we can start doing stuff with them. Uh, but the most urgent ask of everyone is that uh, we need to get the plan done by the end of this month. And I have asked everyone who's looking at the section one, section one curate content um, section to be have all the updates, suggestions, feedback, whatever, in a PR by end of day tomorrow. And after that, Crove and I are going to go through and do the needful, um, fill in any gaps, address those PRs. We need to go back to the team with anything. We will do so via email or over Slack. But uh, I think we've got most of the core information available there's still probably some details outstanding but uh yeah that that's the schedule that's what we're asking folks to do so if anyone would like to take a look at the uh collect and curate content plan and give us some suggestions or feedback uh please do so by tomorrow anything after that is not guaranteed to be looked at so we do have a slight complication there was a uh, boggle with uh, some settings in our repo that has altered some permissions and some files. So we're looking to get that corrected very soon. So if you could perhaps, if anyone wants to provide feedback, if you wanted to wait 
an hour or two for that to get corrected and get the repo up to the latest version. That would be awesome. So later today would be great if you could start uh, your feedback. The robots are rebelling. The ones and zeros are all jacked up. So yeah, uh, thanks for that. Heads up, Krobe. Um, appreciate it. Uh, the, the PRs do work though, for the record. So if you like correct. open a PR, yeah, you could keep updating it. So you might not be seeing the latest information. There was some uh, reformatting for the estimates that got uh, altered. All right. Uh, did Glenn show up? Uh, Randall, do you want to talk about your PR there for a second? Yeah. So, so uh, we've been working on our changes. Our final changes are on 44. Um, yeah. And there was one thing that we have yet to decide on, but I think that might be like a group thing that when the education SIG meets back up, we could talk about. But other than that, I think everything is final. Everything that's in 44 is pretty much final. Any questions for uh, Dave or Randall slash Glenn? Yeah. Uh, um, have have we added the management and some of the other things yet, or is that still too is still still pending? Uh, that has been on, are you talking about our management on SKF management or no? No, no, not on SKF. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually thinking education, uh, the education SIG two. It's in section one. It should be one one, but again, that might be uh, are, but we're, are we not considering it part of two is management only in section one are, are you talking program manager like a program manager to run yeah. execute the plan no a program manager as in what do man how do we educate managers oh manager training manager manager training. Training. that's part of training stuff, of yeah. managers you know training of managers hey this is what you should expect the developers you manage to know and this is why you should care and these are the kinds of tools and pipelines you'll need to make sure you can support and maybe fund um because i think the section two so far has only really been what the skf folks want to add in detail for the software developers but not the management training not the k-12 through training so that's goal 1.3 outlines Right, the, uh, right. But but wasn't material. that going to go into section two or is that just out of scope for the uh, second group? It's my, my apologies. I, I'm just trying to make it, sure it doesn't get dropped. In the future, there <laughs> are no there are no groups. It's all one group. Okay. So it doesn't matter precisely where it lives in the plan. Okay, fair. Uh, we just kind of shuffled it around to help uh, focus. <laughs> Okay, now, my, my, my only concern is I, I, I keep mentioning the management K through 12 because I'm afraid it's getting dropped as because we focus because you know, when you we, we get in the weeds in one, it's easy to forget the other. I just want to make sure they don't get forgotten. That's uh, all. Haven't forgotten. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's still in scope. It might not be as fleshed out as we'd like it to be. And that's why uh, once we get our repo fixed and up to date, we should be able yeah. to see where there are gaps. You can provide that additional feedback. It's actually in sections 1.3 and 1.4. So oh. <laughs> we'll consolidate that. But yes, we do have the managers of open source developer or of developers covered. Uh, okay. But and it's in, in, in 1.3. I, I have some material I can use, but I've not been sure if I could, where I should be putting it because I was like, wait a minute, it's not there at all. Where do I put it? Okay. Is that something we want to add to 2.8 in this as far as instructor led? expansion of materials uh possibly uh yes uh let, let's to illustrate to everyone let's move on and we can circle back to the the manager <laughs> K -12, if you'd like uh to talk about uh did sal join i don't see sal unfortunately um she had an update to her section which again we can't commit right now uh, we hope to get that corrected to kind of see where things are, but uh, she was very close to having section three done. To talk about the plan, as David mentioned, my desire is to have all updates to the plan done by November 30th. 
and then give this working group and the SIG two weeks to comment, to actually look at the whole plan. Uh, I was going to try to add in some introductory and some connective words in some of the sections, but we'll get, get on that starting soon. Um, but the idea is to have the plan to this working group and the SIG for comment official, you know, two weeks. <clears throat> and then we will pass that officially over to the TAC and ultimately the governing board for uh, funding consideration. And to show you how we are organizing the plan a little bit, how that it will be executed. Uh, I showed an example graphic of we're looking at dividing the training up into three general areas where we'll have classes slash courses, which is right now the uh, secure fundamentals class, uh, but also would include new courses or anything we write for a boot camp or a conference, any kind of instructor led, CBT led classes. The second strategy are hands on. Uh, labs, that type of thing. So SKF is our primary tool there, but we also will be exploring things like hackathons, uh, you know, code mashes, whatever. And then we have our uh, third section, which we renamed uh, supplemental and real time uh, response content. And these are things like podcasts, blogs, documentation, uh, any kind of presentations, uh, papers, whatnot. So in once we start doing stuff, ideally the content would be filtered out through these three channels. We'd find the right way to do that. And then I have a, a less exciting graphic, which is not uh, done. I was trying to find a way to illustrate how all this information will uh, come together. So if you take a look at that very quickly, this is a super rough draft, but basically uh, taking the different personas and trying to find where there's overlap or connection between them. So uh, that's not done. I just started that monkeying around with that. So if you have suggestions on how we might be able to show where there's overlap between the different personas to help streamline the uh, actual content execution, uh, that'd be great. So now, uh, circling back to your question about manager training and primary secondary education, uh, does anyone have any questions about that or kind of the, the ultimate plan for the, ed the education SIG plan? <laughs> okay. And if anyone has any suggestions on uh, ways to help illustrate parts of the plan, uh, that would be extremely helpful. I would like to get that in because uh, like when we pass this to the governing board, you're thinking about like a, a vice president or technical executive. They might not have um, as much context around education. Uh, so if we had any illustrative diagrams that might be helpful to share with them to kind of help hammer home some of our points. So be thinking about that when you're reviewing the plan for comments as well, if we had some simple diagrams to help illustrate points. All right. Do we have any uh, opens that we wanted to talk about? Any other business we wanted to discuss today? All right, team, uh, we will adjourn for the day. Those of you in the States, enjoy a wonderful, delightful holiday. Uh, those of you outside of the States, enjoy a very quiet end of the week because the Americans aren't around jabbering at you. Uh, <laughs> Everybody else, I, I noticed the celebrations. <laughs> oh, I, I know you that don't my know friends... how true that is. <laughs> oh, no, no I, I've worked with Europeans for over a decade and they are they are so happy when it's U.S. holidays. <laughs> like we're yeah. actually going to get some work done. And True there are too that. few U.S. holidays, guys. We need to have more for that particular <laughs> yes. reason. Amen to that one. Excellent. Well, thank you all. I appreciate your time and attention and we will talk in a few weeks and I'll look for an email from me when the plan is officially ready for final review. But any, any feedback now is super helpful today to help us finish it up.
Cheers. And Crub, let's oh, catch up you. if you got some time. I have about uh, 35 minutes. You oh, want to hang well, on here? Hang on here oh, for a second. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Take